The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. National carrier South African Airways is installing a locally developed satellite payment and tracking system on its airliners. Skulk Berger has the story. A locally developed satellite authorization system is being installed on all airliners of the national carrier's fleet. The SatAuth system enables credit and debit card payments for duty-free goods to be made in flight worldwide. The system has to provide telemetry data to determine above which territory the payment was made to enable the South African Reserve Bank to determine foreign exchange implications. However, this telemetry data also enables the aircraft to be tracked anywhere in the world, says SatAuth inventor and MD Paul Roo. The system was primarily designed to allow banking transactions, credit card transactions primarily, as well as debit card transactions to take place at 39,000 feet. Uh, this would then connect directly with the bank for the transaction, would get an approval and we would get an answer in real time. Uh, what this would eliminate was uh, stolen cards, uh, fraud on board and also eliminate the possibility of the passenger walking off with the goods when there was no money in his credit card to start with. The fortunate part of the system was that it allowed us to have a transaction take place with the GPS coordinate, uh, which was then giving us the ability to allow the Reserve Bank to know where the transaction took place in terms of the forex laws in South Africa. With, with that in mind, we decided that we would then make that as an additional feature to the satellite server and allow the aircraft tracking to take place via the same system. So the primary design or primary design was to build a banking server allowing uh, banking transactions to take place while in flight real time. But now we also have the ability to track the aircraft to an independent database which the airline has full access to, both in real time and also post-flight. So they can go back and verify the aircraft's flight path, uh, its altitude, its airspeed, what weather it avoided and the likes of, just based on the telemetry data we shipped down to the ground. Engineering and Maintenance Division SAA Technical CEO, Musa Zwane, discusses the role and rollout of the system on its transoceanic flights. Uh, we are actually planning to roll the system out to uh, a whole lot of our um, wide body aircraft, the A330s and the A340s. Uh, why it's important that we roll it first to the wide body aircraft? It's because they are the ones that are flying across the ocean where we sell duty, duty free uh, on board. That's the exciting part about this technology. All you need is an HAC, an eight hour on the ground servicing of the aircraft. It's, it's in the normal a run of our business. The SatAuth system was not primarily designed as an aircraft tracking system, but if the frequency of the transmissions is set to 15 seconds, then the location of the aircraft at the final transmission received can be pinpointed to within two nautical miles. Other news making headlines this week, a study reveals that policy certainty is a key green technology enabler, and SAA again chalks up its financial year loss on impairments and international operations. A newly released study has identified policy certainty and coherence as a critical enabling factor for the accelerated adoption and rollout of green technologies across various industry subsectors in South Africa. The recommendations here is to ensure that legislation is enabling, look at niche areas, we've got a huge amount of sunlight in South Africa, we've got the technology to transform that not only into hot water but also through PVA cells which are getting cheaper into electricity. National carrier South African Airways has posted an operating loss of 374 million rand for the year ended March 31, 2014, attributing its fragile balance sheet to impairments dictated by its long-term turnaround strategy and lackluster profits from intercontinental operations. On a period or more financial aspect side, total income was up 12% year on year. Now again, if I compare that with the global average um, of our auto carriers, then improved revenues by 1.9% 1, 1 year on year. We can see that we performed fairly well on the revenue side during the year on the review. 
controllable cost was up 6%. Cost control was applied, 415 million rand in sustainable savings were generated during the year. And therefore, operating loss before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization improved 12% year on year from a prior year loss of 425 million rand to a current year EBITDA loss of 374 million rand. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.